And when they drew nigh unto Jerusalem, and were come to Bethphage, unto the mountain of Olives, then sent Jesus two disciples, saying to them, Go into the village over against you, and straight away you shall find an ass tied, and a cord with her. Loose them, and bring them to me. And if any man say aught unto you, the Lord, uh, and if any man say aught not unto you, ye shall say, The Lord hath need of them, and straight away he will send them. And this was done that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet, saying, Tell the daughters of Zion, Behold, thy king cometh unto thee, meek and sitting upon the ass, and a court of a full of an ass. And the disciples went and did as Jesus had commanded them, and brought an ass and a court, and put on them their clothes, their clothes, and they set him thereon. And a very great multitude spread their garments in the way, and thus cut down branches from the trees and strolled them in the way. And the multitudes were, uh, that went before and that followed cried out, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. And when he was come unto Jerusalem, all the city was moved, saying, Who is this? And the multitude said, This is Jesus, the prophet of Nazareth of Galilee. Look at that. This is powerful. Look at that verse uh, 10. And when he was come unto Jerusalem, the, all the city was moved, saying, Who is this? I was reading yesterday, and that thing struck me so much. They are asking, Who is this? For three and a half years of public ministry at Jesus, there are people that had not known who Jesus was. He was preaching. He was doing the work of God. He was doing uh, uh, the assignment that God had sent him to do. Like in the peer battle, there are people who do not know who Jesus was. And that day he entered Jerusalem on a court, on an ass. Zikifuatana, ass. Ikifuatana, mtotoake court. Wanafuatana. And people asked, who is this? It is amazing that over this season, there are people who don't know who Jesus is. They have not yet known who Jesus is. They have not yet known that Jesus is the Christ, the Messiah, the healer, the deliverer. They have not yet known. It is a season when then we need to make Jesus known. <laughs> we need to make Jesus known, yes. We need to make Jesus known. There are people who don't know him. Makanizameki haifani yesu wa jurikane. Aye, 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 praise the name of Jesus. Makaniza mingi siyo kusema Jesus anajulikana kwa sababu ya makaniza mingi. Alikuwa mehubiri miaka tatu, lakini pano kuna watu hawako wanajua, hawana kru, Yesu ni nani. So wanawisa, who is this? Wakasema, this is the prophet of Nazareth. This is the prophet of Nazareth. What does that mean? In such a season or on a passion week, it is a season to make Jesus known. Amen. It is a time to ask Jesus, to reveal himself to us who he is. We need to know Jesus better. We need to know Jesus more. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We need to ask God, reveal yourself to us. Who are you, Lord? We need to know you. Reveal yourself to us more. Yes. We need to know Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. This is the prophet of Nazareth. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I want to say a few things here. In this Passion Week, man, I'm preaching about Passion Week. And today we are in the first day of the Passion Week. The Passion Week, the Holy Week, that week of the Passover. This week, you have to go Sunday back a Sunday. From this Sunday to the other Sunday, they need to a Passion Week. I'm a Holy Week. Now, even today is a Holy Sunday. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Several things happened over that Easter. And I want to explain to you that uh, in the Passion Week, we see Jesus expressed in his three offices. Now, Jesus is the king. Jesus is the prophet. Jesus is the priest. These are the three offices of Jesus. And I want you to, be, to follow me clearly as I take you through a few things. Jesus the king, Jesus the priest, Jesus the prophet. The three offices of a son of man. Na ndizo tunaona ziki, wekwa picha vizuri kwenye Passion Week. 
Praise God. Amen. Remember Jesus is a priest. Jesus is a prophet. And Jesus is a king. Now today we are Jesus we are seeing Jesus the king. Uh-huh. In the scripture we have read, we see Jesus expressed as a king. Hallelujah. Amen. The king that enters Jerusalem. Like Jesus has entered into this city. Jesus already is in this city now. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah, give Jesus a hand clap. If you are doing it, do it better. Do it better. Do it better. Amen. Amen. By our entry in this place, Amen. Jesus is here now. Amen. And we see that suddenly he becomes, he, he, he's pictured as Jesus the King. Amen. Jesus the King is entering Jerusalem. And the Bible says when they, when they draw near, he told two of his disciples, this is what you are going to do. And then you go. And when you get there in Jerusalem, you will find two uh, uh, asses, an ass and the child, and a cord. Mama na mtoto. Utakuta wamefungiwa mahali. Wafungueni. If anybody will ask you, kwa nini munafanya hivi? Mwambia, the master needs it. The master has need of it. And so two of his disciples, I don't know who they are, they are not known who, are, who they were, but we see two of his disciples entering there. One and exactly mahali wamekuta. This is prophetic even. He is saying, an ajaona lakini anajua wako. Prophetic. Jesus the king, the priest, the prophet. Praise God. And I'm being in hapo. Na mkina mtakuta mwana kondo wamefungwa pamoja na mtoto wake. Mfungue ni mkuje na yeye. Wakaenda, wakipoenda wakakuta. Exactly vya Yesu wamesema. Pool mwana, mwana punda na mwanawe. Wamefungwa mahali. Wakamfungua. Wakati walikuwa na mfungua. Another version says. Watu waliuliza. Muna chukua mwana punda mwana pereka wapu. Kuringa na exactly vya Yesu walikuwa mesema. Wakasema mwenyewe anaitaji. The master needs them. Waka wafungua na wabaguja na wawo. <laughs> Praise God. Waka mureta mahali yesu walikuwa na wabotea. Na walikuwa na mureta. Waka afunika ye na manguo. Mwana punda waka afunika na manguo. Hallelujah. Mwaka tuwa manumarezo. Waka muwekelea. Mwana punda alikuwa na matope na nini. Na fikiri ya kaotua. Aka rembeshua. Anae akona assignment. Akona assignment. Akona assignment. Aezi ya kuchaka kuchakaa hivi. Sasa aezi ya kwa yesu wakiwa hivi. Hallelujah. Hata sisi tunaandaliwa kukutana na kuona yesu kristo. We are being prepared. Atunge kuta vile tulikuwa. Razima tunge andaliwa. Tufike tukiwa tumejiandaa. Tukiwa tunakaa vizuri. You know what to Kutoka muji ure mbaka hapa. Tumefika mahali tuka andaliwa. Kwanza stop over. Ndiyo tukafika hapa. Praise the name of Jesus. Wakafunika mwana punda. Wakamweka mavazi. Wakamweka reso. Na wakambia yesu yu huyu. Presentable to you. Ready. Unaweza mutumia sasa. Razima tukutengeneze, tukutu, tukutu, make sure ya kwamba unaweza tumika na Yesu. Amen. Yesu wawezi kukutumia vile uko. <laughs> yesu wawezi kukutumia vile ulivyo. Razima tuwe hapo tukuambia, wewe, wewe, mbona ulikapa matope, mbona nini, nini hauna, nini, niki, wewe, what is happening? Iyo mbongo yote razima tukuandae before tukufikishe kwa Yesu. Yesu wawezi kukutumia vile ulivyo. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you not take 10 years, 5 years, 20 years for God to prepare you? The more unakopalita na mungu haraka, the more making inaenda haraka. Ukikataa kukopalita haraka, he is taking too long to make you. Kwa hivyo huwezi vika kwa yesu vile ulivyo wewe, razima upitisiwe mahali. Utengenezo we, utengenezo we. Sema mimi ni punda ya yesu. <laughs> Ulao na vile ya punda yu kusema punda, mimi zisemi we ni punda, ni vile na sema ya ni huyu mwana punda, ni kama wewe na mimi. Sema mimi ni mwana punda wa yesu. Ni tengeneze ni mpebe. Razima uandaliwe vile utapepa Yesu. Razima tukufundishe. Razima tukuonyeshe. Uwezi pepa Yesu kama unapepa mirigo. Si mizigo unapepa. Eh, hizi mizigo kwa napunda unapepa ni Yesu. Razima tukuandae. Akaandaliwa akafika kwa Yesu. Yesu akampandia juu. Na akaanza kuingia na yeye akiwa amepepwa na mwanapunda huyo akiingia Jerusalem. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Triumphant entry in Aitoa Hivio na Muriso Manim Nadua. It is called Triumphant Entry of Jesus into Jerusalem. Aningia Koshindim Kubwa. Watu Pandehi. Watu Pandehi. 
watu pande hii watu pande hii my god na wengine nyuma wanafuata mwana kondoo wakiimba nyimbo wakisema hosana 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 Hosanna hosanna he that cometh in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest blessed be god who comes in the name of the lord blessed yeah? Yeah. praise the name of jesus ndipo sikaipo siku hiyo yesu akiingia lakini there is something i'm noticing kazi ya mwana puda ambayo ni wewe ni kuangalia mahali anakanyanga ni kuinama Mwanapunda akainama akabeba Yesu. Uliza mwenzako, umebeba Yesu, umeinama wewe. Muangalie vile uangalie, uone vile amesimama. Hiyo kusimama uwezi beba Yesu namna hiyo. Uwezi beba Yesu ki <laughs> Kuna watu wanafika kanisani kwa Yesu wakiwa wamesimama. Please inama ubebe Yesu. Haleluya. Uwezi kupepa ukisimama? Yaani uwezi kupepa ukijua? Uwezi kupepa yeye ukiwa mjuaji, uwezi kupepa yeye ukiwa utani kufundishwa, uwezi kupepa yeye kama utani kuandaliwa. Inama is a sign of humility. Ni kuinama kabisa Yesu aingie, atakalia. Na kwa hivyo mwana punda alijua watu wanapoimba hizi nyimbo hawaniimbi. Wanaimbia mwana 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 harusi mwana the lamb of god mwana kondoo wa Mungu sio mimi ninayeimbiwa ni huyu ninayebeba kwa hivyo what do i do i concentrate on carrying him nisije nikateguka nimuangushe chini amen praise the name of jesus amen. watu wengi wanamubeba na wanaendelea kuangalia internet na kuendelea kuangalia facebook na kuendelea kuangalia tv ndio unaona Yesu alianguka 3 years ago You don't have Jesus now. You left Jesus three years ago. Hapo uliangalia internet, ukaangalia girlfriend, ukaangalia boyfriend, ndipo Yesu aliangukia chini. Baka saa hii wewe nimeona punda hana chochote ndio uheshimiwe. Mwana punda anaheshimiwa kwa sababu ya kubeba mwana kondoo. Kama uliachana na Yesu hautaheshimiwa tena. I want to carry Jesus. I want to have him. I want Jesus to be seen. Mimi sina attention, sitaki sitaki attention, sitaki focus. Me I want to focus down. Let the lamb of God be stable in me. Awe stable asiteguke, asianguke. Nitambebwa nikinama hata nikiambiwa ni mbaya. Nitakubali ndio nisije nikaangusha mwana kondoo. Angalia kama bado uko na mwana kondoo ni Rabla mliachana 5 years ago ndipo Yesu aliangukia akaanguka chini ukamwacha hapo ukaendelea kuangalia internet ukaangalia ukaendelea ku Facebook ukaendelea you don't have Jesus now that is why you are not honored hakuna kitu kinaweza heshimiwa mwana kondoo alikuwa mwana punda alikuwa na anakanyanga matope pale akijichafua alikuwa mchafu kumbuka siku hiyo ulikuja kwa Yesu ulikuwa unakaa namna gani ulikuwa mchafu ulikuwa unanuka between Jerusalem na Bethphage hiyo ni kapre, kapre, ni mahali pa kutayarisha mwana punda before afike kwa Yesu ndio akaliwe na Yesu waingie kuna period of making there is a period of preparation kuna period ambayo between hapa na pale lazima wewe umevalishwa mshuka maleso manguo usikae vile ulikuwa unakaa kwa ile matope praise god unaonaje do you still have jesus with you unaona kama mliachana wapi unaona kama mliachana lini na kama unajua aliaguka na akatoka ina matena mwambie bwana kalia mimi na sitaangalia side tena ukiangalia side utategua yeye utategua hivi aguke chini akianguka chini ni hivyo yesu akitoka kwenye back mahali na mbebea atoke hapo hautaheshimiwa na mtu mwingine tena maana wakati ulikuwa peke yako nobody even noticed you wewe praise god mwana punda praise god mwana punda wakati ulikuwa peke yako nobody respected you Hakuna mtu alikuwa na hanja na wewe lakini ile siku ulishika Yesu kamweka watu wakaanza kukuheshimu chunga sana usiache yeye ukiacha yeye heshima inaenda tena maana wakati ulikuwa peke yako pale mkiwa na mtoto wako mwana 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 punda mwenzako mdomo mtoto wako hakuna mtu alikupea heshima angalia vile wanakuimbia saa hii haleluya lakini unafaa ujue ya kwamba hizo nyimbo si zako aziimbi mwana punda zinaimbia mwana kondoo hosana hosana abarikiwe ajae kwa jina la Bwana blessed be God who comes in the name of the Lord akaimbiwa nyimbo 
akaingia Jerusalem kama mfalme akaonyesha ukuu wake praise the name of Jesus hallelujah na kwa hivyo tunamuona kama mfalme we see him as a king Later on on Tuesday of the same week this week we will see him teaching and preaching Monday and Tuesday he started to teach he became a priest he started teaching that is when he talked about the fig tree that is when he talked about faith that is when he spoke about the mountain faith that moves mountains he started to teach and therefore he became he displayed his office as a priest on that day the same week they took the last supper and as they took the last supper jesus began to speak about the resurrection the death and the resurrection his death and his resurrection how he will be held by sinful men what am piga he will suffer many things and he shall be delivered to be crucified and on the third day he will resurrect what is he doing he becomes a prophet he speaks prophetically about his death and resurrection kwa hivyo if you read the whole of it those are just examples ukisoma kutoka what is happening between sunday and sunday you will see jesus pictured in his three offices so jesus is a what Uh -huh. Jesus the prophet Jesus the priest Jesus the priest when Jesus was born in in Matthew chapter 2 God installed him in his three offices wakati Yesu alizaliwa Mungu alimu install in his office in his three offices remember we have said that jesus is the only one who has these three offices na mnakumbuka wakati yesu alizaliwa before i come now to finish the message when jesus was born a wise men from the east came and they came carrying three gifts and if you read matthew chapter 2 utaona they came carrying gold frankincense and myrrh Is of the tattoo. Si me andiko in the book of Matthew chapter 3. Gold, frankincense and myrrh. What was God doing? His father installed his son in the three offices. God the king. Frankincense the priest. Myrrh the prophet. Praise God. Awa kuchukua vitu huko tu akakuta wamebeba wakaleta the three gifts were for installing Jesus in his three offices god is going to say my jesus from now is the king of kings and the lord of lords incense it is going to make a priest he can install jesus in his priest priestly office e man ile iko inapaka watu wakikufa ni ya kuzuia watu kunuka na yesu alipakwa hiyo to say that he will resurrect again he was installed in his priest prophetic office Praise God. How beautiful things zilikuja zikiingiana. Na kwa hivyo Jesus all through became a king, a priest, a prophet. And now in the last week tunamuona ameingia kwa ile dhahabu yake tena gold and he enters as a king. In the following day he began to teach them as a priest to them and then he spoke later about his resurrection, his death and resurrection. On the third day he did not dismiss the day he did not say at the, the son of man will rise on the fourth day either second or fourth i'm not sure but uh, he will resurrect no he never missed the day he knew he would die and on the third day resurrect he is a prophet hallelujah Amen. prophesy over your life right now i prophesy i declare i will never be the same again my life is never be remain the same i am blessed i prophesy over myself i enter in the prophetic office of a son of man and i declare my life is not going to be a mess it is going to be a message prophesy over your life now 
Enter the office, office of a priest, and declare, my family is blessed. I am a priest of myself. I am not cast. I am blessed. Prophesy over yourself. Prophesy over this house. Prophesy over yourself. The anointing of prophecy is upon you. Prophesy over yourself. Something is happening. Prophesy over this land. The anointing of prophetic is upon you. I want you to stand up on your feet for one minute. Stand up on your feet. And I want you to enter in the, in the office of a son of God. Enter in the kingly office of a son of God. And begin to release some decrees. Kings release decrees. Answer to decree. Answer to decree. Kutangaza mimi barikiwa. Mimi ni meinuriwa. Mimi ni mwana wa mungu. Maisha yangu ya metakazika. Therefore we see that on that side four things happen and I have them. Four things happen. One is the commissioning. The commissioning. Praise the name of Jesus. He is saying to his disciples, Go into the village over against you, and straight away you shall find an ass tied and a cord with her. Lose them and bring them unto me. This is a season of commissioning. God is commissioning us. It is not a mistake that we are here. It is a commissioning. Amen. We have been commissioned on this season. Amen. That in this place, this is the commission. Go over. You shall find a call. That is the commissioning we have coming in this place. Yeah. We have been commissioned. At the hubu kuna watu wengi, kuna wana, wana punda wengi. Abao wamefungiwa mahari na wevi, wamefungiwa mahari na usherati, wamefungiwa mahari na unuaji wa mira, ukuraji wa mira na kila kitu. There is people, there are many people, there are many asses and courts in this land that have been tied up somewhere in cages of sin and wickedness. That is the commissioning we are receiving on a passion week. God is commissioning you and you and you and you and me and all of us to go and lose them. Amen. We have been commissioned to go and lose them. Amen. What is your work in this place? Yeah. It is to lose people. Amen. You are commanded from today to begin to lose people. Amen. In your prayer, in your preaching, in your service, in your giving, it is to lose people. Therefore, we have a commissioning. We are commanded by God to do something unique in this place. Wow. We have a commissioning. Go over into Jerusalem. Go. We have been commissioned to come here to do the work of God. We have been commanded to be in this land. It is a commissioning. It is not a coincidence. It is not an accident that we are here on a Sunday of a holy Sunday. On this holy week, on a Passion Sunday. It is not an accident. We are being commissioned by God. This is your assignment. Nina Matuma Huko, go over. Number one, it is about commissioning. Number two is untying. Let my people go. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. So it is a time of commissioning. I say I have com I have been commissioned, I have been commissioned. To, go to go and untie. Why do I have a command? Since you could have been a command, Nikon a commission. This is a season of commissioning. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Number two, which commission is this? Go and untie them. Untie them. Untie them. Lift up your hands and say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I can't hear you. In the name of Jesus. Under my watch. People will, be let go. people will be let go. God said to Moses, go and say to Pharaoh, let my people go that yeah. they may worship me. Yeah. Many people in this place are tied. They are tied yeah. in cages. Whatever you touch yours, that is a commissioning you have in this place. You have been brought in this place to untie them. Why? Untie, untie them. Untie. Wafungue, 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 fungua kanda, fungua, wapiki fungua chako, fungua, fungua. Si mama ufungue wewe. Raka bagada ma. Raka shia. Tuna wafungua. Wale watu wamefungua. Wee, shareba ganda. Not only is it a season of commissioning, 
Not only is it a season of untying and letting the people of God go, it is also number three, a season of prophetic fulfillment. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 21 verses 4, all this was done that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophet saying it is a season of prophetic fulfillment it is a season of prophetic fulfillment what does that mean whatever god has been speaking to us prophetically this is the season of fulfillment this is the season of fulfillment I want you to watch your life and say, and look at yourself and see what has God spoken to you. Because in this season, it is, shall be a season of prophetic fulfillment. What God spoke to you prophetically is coming to pass. It is in this land I will be a bishop of bishops. Amen. I will not only be a bishop, I will be a bishop of bishops. It is in this land you shall be a prophet of bishops. Amen. It is in this land you shall be made a pastor. You shall be made a, you shall become a minister of God. Amen. It is in this land you shall become, you shall become here for the kingdom of God. Amen. It is in this place you shall get land. Amen. Rest. Amen. Ay, 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 ay. Good promises. It is a season of prophetic. Hey! Ay, 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 Glory to God. It is a season of prophetic fulfillment. It is in this land to produce songs. It is in this land. I will become a best singer. I will be married in this land. I will marry in this land. I will be lifted in this land. Not only is this a season of commissioning and time, prophetic fulfillment, it is also a season number four of celebration and praise report celebration and praise report celebration and praise report and the multitudes that went before and that followed verses 9 of 21 Matthew they cried saying Hosanna to the son of David blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the height. This is a season of celebration. We will not come here to cry. This season of Holy Week, Passion Week is not a season of crying. It is a season of celebration. People celebrated. What what praise? What praise the son of David who comes riding on a cord. How blessed is the one who comes from the highest. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Come, Lord Jesus. Hosanna means come, Lord. Come, Lord. It is time for the Lord. Hosanna. 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 Come and say. Oh, yes. Come and heal. Amen. You are saying, Hosanna. Come and deliver the city. Amen. Hosanna, come and redeem the mankind. Amen. Hosanna, come and fulfill Amen. the prophetic utterances yes. that has been spoken about this land. Amen. Hallelujah. It is a season of celebration. I want you to begin to celebrate. Amen. Celebrate anyhow. Oh, yes. Because God's prophetic utterances are being fulfilled. In this Amen. Declare in this land, yes. you shall be celebrated. Amen. For you that has never been celebrated all your life, yes. prepare yourself. Amen. God is sending men and women Amen. to celebrate you. Amen. I lift up my hand and say, May you be celebrated now. I May people celebrate your birthday. Amen. May people celebrate your wedding. Amen. May people celebrate your ordination. Amen. May people celebrate your consecration. Amen. May people celebrate your successes and achievements. Amen. People will say congratulations. Amen. Congratulations. Yeah. I see the one congratulations. Congratulations. Amen. Now I'm ready for Vizuri. 
in good italics. Congratulations. 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 You made it. You made it. Congratulations. Congratulations. 